Well, it's 5 a.m. and I can't go back to sleep, so let's go ahead and try to figure out what this Spillman thing is, shall we? Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. So we went over the newest unsealed search warrants in the Idaho 4 case yesterday. They did go in and slip these in between a bunch of stupid crap from media stations when it came to the interveners for the cameras in the courtroom. I personally don't care about none of this camera stuff when it comes to what the companies themselves want. I only care about cameras when it comes to transparent justice. I don't care about KREM and News Nation and all of that drama. So we're going to look at the Spillman situation. I've had quite a variety <laughs> of answers on what this possibly could be. Some people are being, you know, real rude thinking oh she doesn't even know spillman is a cad thing okay well sweetheart you didn't either until you read somebody's comments or somebody who knew that done spread that information or you looked it up on google yourself that's all i'm gonna say because whenever i look at the name spillman i don't think that and honestly as a true crime person how often have you even had to know anything about the cad system in a case Okay, so whenever you look up Spillman, you actually get several different things. If you take the Spillman case file and you just literally search web for that, it tells you several different things. It not only tells you stuff about the records management solutions, which is the system, the Motorola system, it apparently also has something to do with dispatch and there's lawsuits. Okay. There's, there's other things going on with it, but there's also like a serial from that area with this last name. So whenever you look up the Spillman case, you get this. I've seen this face before. Okay. I was like six whenever all of this stuff was going on. But I've seen this face before. But what honestly most interests me are these little articles that I keep seeing popping up about the Spillman Flex software having issues and there being major lawsuits. If there is some sort of situation going on with the law enforcement's Motorola systems with Spillman Flex or whatever, this Spillman case file being placed on this specific search warrant is questionable to me because we know from th what they've told us so far, Brian Koberger had an Android phone, not an iPhone. But this verbiage right here for the Spillman case file and the information for these Apple IDs being inserted into that Spillman case file, this is the only thing that has Spillman on it. Unless someone else digs up another one, this is the only time that I've ever remembered seeing this. I think that if I would have seen this with other search warrants, I would have been asking this question all along and would have already known the answer to what Spillman was. But this is something very new to me. So look at this right here. San Angelo, Texas has filed a lawsuit against Spillman Technologies. And it's actually a Utah-based company, it states. But there's multiple. I think I just saw another one, too. Redding, California Police Department. It says right here that they're blaming the software for what? Losing a criminal case and crashing during 911 calls. Okay, so are they going to try to tell us that 911, like crashed and that's the reason why they can't release a 911 call because i'm going to tell you right now they're going to be full of it they're going to be lying no matter what they try to say because you guys remember the day before they arrested brian koberger they were alluding fry's face 
got out here to the to the public, okay, and said, we're thinking about releasing the 911 call. And then they didn't do anything. And then they arrested Brian. And then that whole thing got completely, like, forgotten. And the 911 call was just a figment of everyone's imagination after that. So if you go straight to where it states Spillman Records, and again, I don't know if this is what they're talking about. Because the way that this is verbiaged in the document states the Spillman case file. So unless Moscow PD is suing Spillman and we don't know, I don't know why it's written that way. That's odd to me. That's just me. Okay. But this claims right here, Motorola Solutions Spillman Records, Streamline Data Entry. Empower each individual with the most accurate and up-to-date information through a records management system specifically designed and engineered for true integration. Through streamlined data entry and robust searching capabilities, Spillman Flex helps maintain data integrity and enables quick and intuitive data analysis. Thousands of agencies nationwide rely on the integrated records management Spillman Flex offers. Utilizing a centralized single source database, Flex gets your agency the insight you need quickly and accurately through integrated police records management software. And as you can see, these are like the screens. Instantly see related records with involvements, analyze crime statistics. I mean, honestly, I don't know why we're even seeing something like this be a possibility, you guys, because what do we constantly see? Okay, there's there's channels that go and get reports for things in that area constantly and do videos on things, even unnecessarily not related whatsoever things. Okay, and what does it always say on these reports? That no report was taken. So for a town that literally doesn't even try to keep records, it'd be kind of strange to me that they would be the ones complaining about something not keeping records correctly unless it's going to be for their own benefit. So again, the way that this is written in the document does not, to me, make it look as if this is a system. It very well could be, but it would be weird to me, uh, an agency that refuses to take any sort of reports whatsoever would even care about anything like this. I mean, obviously, as a law enforcement agency, they're supposed to have things like this. But again, no report taken is a little bit too common unless, you know, like I'm like I've said, unless they are going to blame it crashing and doing something, you know, cray cray, then I don't understand the point of them having anything in it. But then again, I highly doubt, I really highly doubt that it has anything to do with this guy. I really highly doubt it. So unless they think that this is some sort of copycat situation, I don't know why this would be what they're referencing either. But these two Apple IDs are interesting because, again, we've been told from the beginning, Brian had a droid. Those are the two things I'm seeing. Let's see if we can type in just like Idaho. There is a Jason Spillman on the Judicial Committee for the Idaho Supreme Court. Okay. Now this is again about the serial guy. Okay. So this is talking about Canyon County using Spillman, I guess. Spillman applications. Welcome to Spillman applications. Computer aided dispatch CAD. Yeah. Very possible that it's talking about the CAD system. It would make, it would make a lot more sense if it was talking about the CAD system. But I don't like what that alludes in the situation whenever we have this issue with 911 not being called for eight hours. And then being hella secretive about the 911 call and giving us a whole bunch of just weird cryptic information. But I guess we'll find out. Because all we can do right now is read over what they're giving us and try to figure out what they're telling us until they actually tell us. And at this point, there's no telling how long it's going to be until they finally tell us. 
But that is it, you guys. I'm going to actually go ahead and clock into work a bit early and maybe try to get this Friday over with a little faster than normal. I hope you guys have a great weekend. See y'all.